whoa, whoa. If you can, give me a second of your time. I want to ask you something. Check this out. This is a real brief video. I, I got two questions for you. And let's see if you can be honest, because a lot of people have a problem doing so. We all know that, right? So let's get to it. Charlie Rock, LD, the former member of Terror Squad, right? We all know he went to prison, uh, I think like in 88 uh, was released about in the 2000s, if I'm not mistaken, something like that. Correct me if I'm wrong. I heard that from his mouth it, myself. But anyway, he goes on this show recently. We all know what's been transpiring with the situation with Fat Joe and them, the whole gossip, yada, yada, yada. He says that he doesn't understand for what reason Fat Joe no longer, like, wants no part of him. Like, he didn't do nothing to Fat Joe. Like, I haven't done anything to Fat Joe, so on and so forth. But he explains why he's talking in the interview with M. Rec, right? Which is an interviewer, content creator that's been around for years. And I'll put the link to his channel in the description to this video. So anyway, he says he didn't do nothing wrong. So people are like, yo, Fat Joe is foul for not talking to him, yada, yada, yada. They should get back together. So here's the thing. As I hear him talk, now I'm understanding a little bit why Fat Joe is not talking or dealing with him. And you tell me if you see it a little something like this, too. Here we go. In this part, uh, M. Rec asks him, what were some of the hip hop beats? And this is why he says. First, so let's get to that part. What Charlie Rock LD says that he was doing while he was with Fat Joe and the things that transpired. And then I'm going to ask you the first question. You inherit a lot of Fat Joe's beef. I went right into it head on. Head on. What, head on. What was some of the beefs? What was some of the beefs? Here it goes. I hope you're paying attention. I'm just trying to get to that part before people start crying about their video. Respectfully, check it. It was one rap. It was one rapper and a couple of other side dudes. Yeah, I pulled up on them early, early. Woman in the trunk. Wow. Woman in the trunk took him to Joe's house with these dudes in the trunk, telling him I got something for you. Popped the trunk and Joe got shook. <laughs> he was shook. He was like, yo, what are you doing? You crazy. Uh now, here's the question. He, When he says he don't know what happened, Fat Joe just stopped talking to him, and Joe's talking about the situation, like people getting high or what have you, that's not it to me. I mean, he forgave Tony Sunshine. He forgave a lot of people, and I was in a drug program with Tony Sunshine before. Facts. <laughs> and uh, in the streets. And all that. Shout out to Tony, by the way. He's a good dude. Uh, now, from what I know, the Tony I know, I don't know what he did to you. I don't know you. But anyway, my question is this. Do you think that it was that, the drugs, or could it be like Charlie Rock was wilding in them times? How you pull up with some, with people in the trunk and like, yo, here the, here the dudes are. So now Joe is a businessman. Like, yo, this dude's going to get me a major bid. So I think, like, now that I'm looking back and I'm really analyzing bits and pieces, business-wise, it's a problem, like a, a, a liability, if, if it's the right word, right? Like, like this, is, this dude is going to be like, <laughs> we're going to go down behind what he's doing, right? So that'll be a reason why when people change and they trying to do the right thing, they don't want like dudes wild and pulling up. Ah, dudes in the, yo, I got them in the trunk. Like, what? I didn't tell you to do that. And Joe would get locked up for that. You know, the feds, police thinking he ordered a hit. Like, could, do you think that could have been one of them? That Charlie Rock was just like too wild for him when Joe was trying to change his life and just be a business man in hip hop? That's the first question, right? And my second question, and understand the question and play it back if you have to, right? Because these are dudes that they was wilding, bro. And they was together a lot for Joe just to leave him like that. I think it was more like a, 
I'm trying to do just straight business and do the right thing. My second question is just this right here. What do you think Remy Ma might be thinking right now? She's watching all of them on the internet talk about each other and all this is playing out. Uh, do you think she's tuned in? Do you think she even cares? What are your thoughts about what she's thinking? Like, what could she be thinking, right? I mean, I think she had love for all of them. They all seem to call her like a sister. She seems like a good lady and a respectable person to them. I don't know. What do you think she's thinking? 